And a very good morning to each and every one of you. Uh, as you already know, we've been talking about the land of Nineveh coming into repentance from the greatest of the people to the least of the people, including the animals. They all came and they repented. And this is a great time and a season for each and, for each and every one of us to go into a season of repentance as well. I, I want to remind you about Elijah who stood before 450 prophets of Baal and he challenged them to a sacrifice. And now it's very interesting because what Elijah told the people of Israel, Israel and the prophets of Baal was to come together and to watch him. Now let me just read from the book of 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 30 and it says, And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. It's very strange that somebody would say, Come near unto me unless he wanted them to watch what he was doing. And all the people came near unto him and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Now let's face a few facts. None of us are perfect and our altars may be broken down. However, you know, people around us must be able to see us making the effort to build up our altar. And the altar must be built up God's ways. And when God helps us build our altars, it will always be strong and without cracks. It speaks of a life that has been built with the strength and direction of God. Let me also add uh, here that uh, to, the, to the men and to the husbands that God called you as the head of your house to build the altar in the home, not your wife. So in other words, prayer and sacrifice must first come from you as it is God's divine order. We must each have an individual altar where we submit and surrender our lives to Him. And every household must also have a general altar where every member of the house comes together to put their petitions and requests to the Lord. This is a great time and season to build our altars so that we can burn the unwanted and the uh, uh, unnecessary attitudes and behaviors that are holding us down and causing us just to fly with the pros. So let's use this time wisely to build our spiritual life, to walk in the victory God has for us. Be blessed and have a great, great, great day.